Welcome to AH Tutorials where we show you how to work on cars. Today we're going to be working on a trunk for our 01 to 05 Honda Civic. So let's get to it. For this we're going to be using some pretty common household tools. First we're going to be using a ratchet with a size 10 millimeter socket on there. And optional we're going to be using a slide extension. And also you're going to be needing a flat screwdriver and another thing you're going to need is a friend. The first thing we're going to need to do to take off the trunk is we're going to have to disconnect a lot of stuff and one thing we need to disconnect is the wires to the trunk latch and if you look over here there's a cable right here and we're just going to push this out You see it comes out and the cable should come out and after the cable comes out there's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts right here and we're just going to go ahead and take these out with our ratchet. Now that the bolts are off, it's going to give us wiggle room and we can freely move this around and uh, we don't need to take off the latch, but we need to get to the plug that was behind here and we're going to push down on this tab right here where my index finger is and pushing down on this tab, we're going to pull at the same time and that plug is, that plug is going to come out. And after you take this plug out, we're going to want to move this out of the way, this cable and we're just gonna feed it through here. It's gonna come out. And after we do that, we're gonna wanna unplug everything. And the light bulb plugs are just gonna come out. And you wanna push down on this tab and pull out at the same time. And that's how these plugs come out. Same thing for this one over here. You see now that's how that one comes out. There's a few more. There's another one right here. Another one over here. And you take out these last two. And after we do that, we have these clips here. And once we take the rest of these clips out, the harness can come out afterwards. So the way these are going to come out is I'm just going to push down on it and pull up on the harness at the same time. You can see how the tabs work. And that's just going to come out. It's the same thing for the rest of them. You want to push down on these tabs and pull them out at the same time. And to make it easier, you can use your flathead as well. The last clip is over here and you can see it's backwards. The tabs are on the top. So we're going to need to push down the tabs from the top side. You can see that comes out. Now the whole harness is ready to come out. 
and you just want to take it out through these holes. And we're going to put this to the side. And after we put that to the side, we can go ahead and take out the trunk itself now. There's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts on this side. There's also going to be two 10 millimeter bolts on the other side. And what I recommend is have a friend hold it on one side while you take out the bolts because it can get a little heavy and this is the safest way to do it. And we're just going to go ahead and take these bolts out. You can see now it's dropping down. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. And as you're taking out the last bolt, you're going to want to hold it from the bottom. See now the trunk's off. For this next part, if you bought a bare trunk, you're going to want to replace all the rubbers, the tail lights, and the trunk latch from your old trunk and putting it onto your new one. And if you didn't buy a bare trunk and you bought a complete one, that's completely fine, then you can skip this step. Uh, if you want to learn how to take out the trunk lights, you can watch the video that we put up. Uh, you can click the link in the description below and we'll have that there. And then also, I'm going to show you how to do this. And the way these rubbers come out is the end that's closest to the tail light. We're going to have to take that end out first. And after that end comes out, we're going to pull it and it's just going to slide out. You can kind of see how that works, how it has grooves here. They go in to the big hole and then they slide into the small one and kind of lock it in place. And you can see how this is just the hole and why we have to take this one out first. And uh, that's how this rubber comes out. And again for this one, the end that's closest to the tail light, taking that out. slide it out and that's just gonna come out like that and also you're gonna have some rubber pieces right here on the side and you can just spin these out and then they only they just come out simple pretty easy and we're gonna go ahead and just put everything back in and the way we're gonna put this back in is make sure we slide it in first to its groove and then we can put the end in. And you can put that rubber piece back in. And same thing for this one. And the next part is we're gonna wanna take off the trunk latch and this part's a little trickier and if you look over here there's a clip and we're gonna have to slide this clip off this way and once that comes off this part's gonna slide out and as soon as that slides out we can pull out the entire latch now and you can replace that that way also if you want and we're just going to go ahead and put everything back in. It just slides in. Put that in its place. Slide the clip back on. And that's how that works. Now to put it back on, you and a friend are going to hold it together. And you're going to make sure 
the threading lines up with the holes and you can go ahead and just finger tighten the bolts first. And after you thread the bolts, you can go ahead and use your size 10 millimeter socket and tighten the bolts back up. It's gonna be the same thing for the other side. I got it. Now you have the trunk back on, and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna feed the wire through back into the holes and make sure everything lines up and get all the clips back in. And you can see here, we're gonna feed it through this hole right here. And just gonna put it all back in all together. And the way we're gonna clip these back on is it's just gonna go in. And you don't need to press down on anything. Everything's just gonna clip in. And the black plug that goes to the trunk latch is gonna feed through this hole right here. And you can see the clip is gonna go in. And the reason why we didn't tighten this earlier is so that we can put the plug back in and we have wiggle room and our hand's gonna fit in there easier. So we're gonna go ahead and just put the plug back in. Now that that's in, you can clip in the rest. See how that works. Last one here. And we can go ahead and just start plugging everything black back up. And don't worry about getting anything confused because all these plugs have its own place. So it's like a puzzle. So if it doesn't fit, obviously it's not gonna go there and you won't have too much trouble. And after that, we can go ahead and put this back on and this will be the last piece. We're just gonna take size 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna put this back in.
Now you should have everything together. Everything should look nice. You just replace your trunk and it should work fine. And we're gonna go ahead and put the cable, the trunk latch cable back in. And we're gonna feed it through this hole. You're gonna wanna pull the cable all the way out and you're gonna wanna kinda hold it with your thumb and make sure it's fully extended. And you're gonna wanna put it through this lining right here. And you can clip it in through here. And make sure that goes back on. And we're gonna go ahead and just close the trunk latch. We're gonna close the trunk and open it back up and make sure everything looks fine. everything checks out to be fine and that's how you change your trunk thanks for watching